Hey, I'm Nate, and I'm going to walk you through the fourth and final area in our Plague Stone series, the Sinister Dungeon Lair. And this area is indeed sinister. Let's take a look. <laughs> so the players are going to head up these stairs, and they're going to come through this, this double doors into this area. This is where the sculptor lives. He's the He's sort of the evil necromancer who lives in here, does all these experiments. Uh, and this is his bed and his chest and his things. They might rummage through that. Eventually they'll creak open this door and they'll enter into his true lair, the sculptor's workshop here. So they'll make their way down these daises and be confronted with his hideous experiments. And he's got this transmuted cadaver here. He's been doing stuff on He's been siphoning all the blood out and there'll be this crazy blood ooze that they'll have to fight in here and maybe it's empowered by these phylactery staffs and the like. And so he'll try and get the blood ooze to latch onto them and hold them in place and he'll race up these stairs out this corner and open his little hidden secret door that's there and go out and escape out the cave. Pretty much everything in here is made with our dungeon pieces, uh, mostly Dungeon of Doom pieces. So these cool double doors, a bunch of dungeon areas. I showed you this Really cool secret door here. Besides, it's so secret that a lot of times people don't even know it's in their set. They say, where's my secret door? And you have to check the bottom for the, uh, has a different part code than our regular corners. We've got this awesome warded door here. It's hinged, this will lead us down the stairs. Uh, and over in this corner, he has a bed, this really cool little tiny chest. So this whole elevated area here is up on stilts and built on a terrain tray. So we have, underneath these pieces, we have a four by eight terrain tray. So it's a metal tray with uh, neoprene on either side. Our pieces have anchor magnets that'll so stick to the terrain tray so you can fly it around. It's gonna be held up by, these will be our cavern stilts. So it'll be this dimension, but it'll be natural stone and it'll have a magnet on top. So it can stick to the bottom of the terrain tray and it'll have the one cool solid unit that'll be super stable. So then moving down into the final room here, we have a couple of our large dais curves and our small dais curves here to bring us down into the main room. We've got an eight by eight floor in the bottom. All right, in this corner, we have a magnetic corner. It has magnetic manacles sticking to it. So the manacles can be removed. Any of our magnetic accessories can be put in there. And then these manacles open so you can squeeze them onto the limb of a mini and hold the mini in place. So the sculptor has a ton of manacles around the room, right? He's got five, one, two, three, four, five manacles scattered around the room so he can hold prisoners and wait and experiment on them and see the results of his experiments. In we've got these two large curved pieces in size and they have insert walls you can pull out that are magnetic. Um, so you can use these have passages coming in. At the Head of the room, we have this great two by four vaulted grand arch. Um, this thing has a magnetic wall in the middle, so you can put on your magnetic accessories. And it has our LED torches on there. You can turn them on and off. There's a switch on the back, battery compartment in the bottom. And the torches are modular and removable, so you can change them out with any of our other wall mounted LED pieces. And then our new pieces in the center here, first we have four of these little phylactery staffs. So these are some sort of fell magic, evil crystals on the bottom, cool orb on the top, claw holding the orbs, classic old fantasy staves. There's four of those around the perimeter that are using them to like harness some energy to pour into these experiments. Uh, we have this awesome bucket of limbs here. So there's a, a head, a foot, a hand, a bunch of stuff hanging out of this bloody bucket. We have a bucket of parts. We have this tray of tools. It's got, there's a bone saw and a hammer and a huge hatchet. And it's got, got blood dripping off it. This is definitely not the sort of thing you'd want to see in your dentist office when you roll in there. <laughs> then we have the centerpiece of this room, which is the necromancer's workbench here. So this thing, it's about two and a half inches by one and a half inches. It's surrounded by arcane sigils on all sides. And in the center it has, I'll pop this guy. 
this little transmuted corpse. So this guy has seen a lot of terrible experiments. He has a weird avian leg that's been grafted onto him, and he's missing arms, his brains are hanging out. He's had a, he's had a tough time. Uh, he's held on here by one of these little manacles. So similar to the wall manacles, these things uh, can snap open and we just snap that right over his leg and hold him in place. So these, uh, these manacles pop out, they're gonna be pole accessories. So like our, our corner pieces, for instance, have holes in there so you could pop them in the edge of your dungeon corners or anywhere we have a pole accessory hole, you can dangle a manacle. If you want, you can pull out all of these manacles you can use it as a plane kind of workbench or altar or something, or you can put other pole accessories in these holes, like these little imp gargoyles or something, make it into like an unholy altar if you want. So lots of fun options with this piece. All right, so that is our sinister dungeon layer. It's got all sorts of devious uh, accoutrements and uh, instruments of torture and capture and the like. You should be able to decorate all sorts of devious layers with this stuff. <laughs> All right, I hope this walkthrough gave you a better understanding of one of the areas of the pen. If you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you'll stay up to date with all things Dwarven Forge. Thanks for watching, and now it's back to the anvil.